Alright guys, so the first thing I gotta do uh, is gotta remove the bar end from the uh, stock grips. These are designed to go over the stock grips, so you're not actually replacing the grips at all, you're just going over them. So it's a Phillips head screwdriver, and they're pretty weighty. And then, uh, you have these two guys right here, so it's like a clamshell, so it fits together like that. And then underneath part of this, if I can get it underneath, there are some holes here where you put those little screws. These guys right here that go in, there's two on each side. And at the, at the end, there's an end cap. It goes on here after you're done fitting them over. So let's try these, uh, get these guys on there. So just uh, remove the backing. Well, let's see how they fit to begin with, actually, before we do that. So they're pretty, they're pretty substantial compared to the stock grips. And the reason I bought these is uh, I like the stock grips okay, but they tend to be a little... Um, too th just a little too thin for my taste, so I thought I'd try these out. And since I'm not really replacing them altogether, I can always take them off later if I don't really like them. So let's try and get these guys out. So there's one. Let's take the backing off of this one. And there's two. So that feels pretty substantial. I like that. I like how that feels. Uh, I just need to get a uh, screwdriver to lift this up. I think because I can't, my nail isn't big enough to get underneath that. So just give me one second. Okay, so. A little screwdriver here to get underneath. I'm not sure what size. Uh, it looks like a pretty small Allen wrench needs to go in there. Alright, so I've got a little screwdriver here to lift up this part here. And uh, i got to figure out which size Allen wrench they to use for these guys. These little screws here. So let's see what that is. Looks pretty small. Looks like a size two, two millimeter Allen wrench. So I'm gonna try that. So let's see if we can't lift this up. There we go fit this in there. I'll put down the screwdriver for a second. There we go. Just gonna tighten that guy down. That's one. Let's get the other one in there. It's a really tight space, so you gotta hold this back while you're doing this. Alright, so now what we gotta do is put the end cap on. And uh, we should be good to go. And then I'll do the other side.
All right. That is very substantial compared to uh, what it was before. Feels good. And uh, supposedly the heat is supposed to be able to come through just as well. So uh, I guess we'll see over time how they hold up. But let's get the other side done. All right. So on to the right side. Let's do the same process. We'll remove this guy. Isn't that hard, actually. I thought it would be a little harder to remove these bar ends, but it's not too bad. Alright, that's that one. You know what, I'm going to put you guys back over on the other side, I think. Just so I'm not blocking the picture too much. There's no left or right on these labeled. It's uh, whichever you want to do. Let's put the bottom one on first. Top one on. And the screws that go with it. I don't want to lose those because they're pretty tiny. Let's lift up this little cover. Let's get one of these in there. Just so you can see how tiny these are, that's what it looks like. It's a tiny little screw, it goes on either side. Just to give you an idea of how small. Here's that. And then we just have the end cap. Now I don't know what it's going to be like riding with this without the bar ends. I mean, these are weighty, but they're not as weighty as the uh, stock bar ends. But. We will see how, how it rides for the rest of the season and get this one started. There we go. There you go. Gold Strike Gloss Black Handlebar Grips installed. And uh, I'll let you know how they go over time. So let's get on to the kickstand. Hey guys, so this is the uh, kickstand pad I got from Show Chrome. It is the kickstand base. Uh, 
200% larger than OEM base according to the packaging here. This is what the packaging looks like. It is part number 051-00581 for those of you who are interested. I think I ended up getting it from uh, Dennis Kirk um, and it comes with a tiny little set screw right here. It's very, very tiny, which goes on the other side. There's a little hole here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So it slips on just like that. And then we'll put the set screw in and we'll see, uh, see how it looks. Oh, it's not going in there. Let me just take a quick look here and see. Why isn't this going in? Let's see if I can get it started outside that first. Hmm. Being a bit of a pain. You would think this would be easy. The easiest one in the world, but it seems to be giving me some difficulties here. Not sure what the problem is. Right, give me a few minutes here, guys. Let me see what's going on. Alright, guys, so. I don't know if you can see that it's at a weird angle it's like coming in not straight on but like at a little a bit of an angle towards the back so i had to take it over to the bench and look at it i couldn't really look at it here but it's on there now and i'll show you guys exactly what it, when it looks like when you're putting it on see how it's like at an angle it's not straight back so that's what we're looking at right now So I'm going to try and get this in there. There we go. Now it's going in. Nice and snug. It's on there. It's not going anywhere. So it sticks out just a little bit from the side there, if you can see that. You can see how it sticks out right here. So it's on there though. So that's it. That's uh, all I got for you today. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the little install video I did. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.